The first thing I did this morning was finish installing this trim piece on the top window. Now so far I only have one hole in this bar tapped and that's why there's only one screw in there. This is a three millimeter screw and again I just bought a three millimeter tap and tapped this bar and I just need to go through the rest of the holes and tap them. Underneath this black screw is a black plastic washer. And I just got this box delivered with perfect timing from Zenith. Inside this box are my new window trim pieces and the mounting parts that I need to mount my battery on the firewall. Here's what the battery strap looks like. Here's my battery for the Super Duty. So let's just pretend like the workbench is the firewall. You can see how this goes over it here and we'll put a bolt here and a bolt here that holds it up to the firewall. And then this little simple angle piece right here uh, gets bolted to the firewall and it just provides a little shelf for this battery to sit on. It's simple and lightweight and it's exactly the same setup I have in my cruiser. And of course I got my new side trim pieces for the front windshield and this is what I'm going to cut and drill and get installed today. To get started all I'm doing is marking a spot on the side trim piece of where I need to cut. Well you can see right here the hashed out area is the part that gets cut away and you can see right here I've drilled a hole and the reason I pre-drill a hole is just so that when I do cut that away I'm not left with a 90 degree corner. And a quick cut with the bandsaw will cut out this corner. I cut in this direction for one way and then I'll flip it around. I have it sitting on a block of wood just to make it level to make the last cut here. And once I'm done with the cut, you can see what it looks like. I think this is after I fouled it and cleaned it up smooth too. It's a little dark right here, but I'm just checking to see how it fits. Well, this side's done. Here's what it looks like on here. You can see it fits down at the bottom and at the top it fits nice. I have that extra inch now that goes over the edge and finishes off uh, the edge of that windshield pretty nicely. Well, this has kind of taken me all day to do because I keep having to run to the store for different size drill bits or something that I don't have. But here's where I'm at right now. I have one screw in the top and I have one screw in the bottom. So what I need to do now is just drill some more holes in here and then uh, I'll be, this side will be done. Uh, so you can see here, it fits nicely at the bottom. I already showed you the top, it fits nicely at the top. It's just a matter of screwing it on now. And uh, I'll show you what I'm using to do that. Now I'm using little sheet metal screws on the side. That's what I'm holding it on with. These are the same screws I used on my cruiser. Uh, these are the screws right here. I'll put a picture on the screen. I got them at McMaster Car if you wanna order the same ones. Now, one thing I do want to point out with these screws or when I'm doing this is I will drill the holes in the aluminum and the window with a number 40 and then into the steel, I will use a 564 drill bit because I obviously want the hole in the steel to be a little bit smaller so the screw can thread in there. Now, this, the hole in here with the number 40 is just fine. When this is all done, I'll open up the holes in here a little bit bigger. And what that does is that prevents cracks. So you always want the hole in your Lexan or your windows to be bigger than the screw or the rivet. Well, this is probably going to be a fairly short video because I really didn't do a whole lot today. I did get this top trim piece done and the left side here is mostly done. I have two more holes to drill. Uh, but I broke my drill bit trying to drill into that steel frame. So tomorrow I need to get a, a new drill bit. But I've got a couple of these sheet metal screws in here. I have little plastic washers under them. And uh, so far it's looking pretty good. Tomorrow I'll get the other side done. And then I'm going to move on to installing the glass on the door frames. And I'll get that, uh, that glass on the door trimmed all the way around. So that will be completely done. I think after that... Pretty much everything up front here is done. I can take all of this off and take the glare shield off and probably get ready for my panel and where I can finish up my wiring.